Warning. Warning. Before you do anything in this video, create a restore point. If you don't know how to, go to your windows, type in restore, click create, type in pre DS4 or whatever name you choose. If anything goes wrong, just click system restore, click choose a different restore point, and then click the pre DS4. Next, boom, finish, or change, or make sure you know everything's the same and that's it. Now that that's done, we can get into the tutorial. If you've already watched any of my previous guides, I would recommend uninstalling any DS4 windows you have just so you can update it. To do that, type in percent app data percent, find your DS4 windows and delete. You're gonna need WinRAR for this. Link will be in the description. Just click the blue button twice. It's gonna download the bottom left instructions on the screen. You're gonna download the latest version. For me, at the point of this recording, it's 3.1.4. Download the .zip x64 version. Now you're gonna to wanna to open the file, drag this folder to your desktop, and run the DS4 exe. Type in app data and click start. You wanna click edit, anti dead zone to zero. You wanna make sure you do these for the left stick and the right stick. And then you wanna change your dead zone zero zero on both left stick and right stick. Click apply and then go to gamepad tester. It will be in the link in the description and just move your left stick and around. It's 0 0.02 max. You know, I drop my controller a lot. So, you know, like it happens And on my right stick. I have 0 0.03. So I'm going to set my dead zone to 0 0.03 on both. After that, I would bind the middle touchpad to the select button. To do that, you want to click each section. So left touch and bind it to the back button on the Xbox controller. Do that for all sections, right touch, multi-touch and top. Then go to touchpad and where it says output mode, change it to controls. Now, as you can see, my controller delay is 3.5 milliseconds on average. Your controller delay will not be the same as mine. That's just how it is. Not all controllers are built the same. Also in the description, this website, the kitesbf.zip. If you're on Windows 11, click this one and then click download. And drag these to the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder just by click folder. Boom. Open it, go into the driver folder and hit setup. Now I'm going to click all. You want to click install service if there was no pop-up you're good but if you got a pop-up saying you know error you're gonna to have to disable safe mode in bios if you don't know how to enter bios first thing you want to do is find out your your motherboard manufacturer to do that press your windows button and search up system information it'll be here like under here my one says microstar international that one just means msi just Google it. This makes it a lot easier. A lot, a lot of people have different, you know, motherboards. I can't really go in depth with everyone. So if there was no issue after you click install service, you want to find your controller. For me, it's going to be wireless controller. Click install service again. Then you want to change. You want to click default and change your rate. Click the highest one there. Eight thousand for this controller works for me. Some controllers it might be ten thousand. Just check. I'm gonna click eight thousand install service and then click filter on device install service unplug your controller and then plug it back in and now it should be green yes 8001 if it's red if your controller is not working just go back to the system restore if you didn't do the system restore you played yourself and now go to ds4 windows go to edit go to controller readings and i have zero ms and yeah that those are the best settings for your controller you know you went through the whole process this gives you the lowest input delay and the lowest dead zone for your controller also makes it so you don't have any like weird settings i don't know no anti-dead zone none of that stuff if you did enjoy this video make sure to like the video and subscribe also check out my other tutorials for more you know call of duty stuff and uh peace